Hey, welcome back. I got a, a viewer question in my YouTube comments. He was asking about the HK3480, which I have here. Um, he's got a problem with his power transform. He says the primary winding's open. Um, I find, really find that hard to believe because if you look at the prim primary windings, it looks like it's wrapped with 16 gauge wire, which is pretty pretty beefy and I can't imagine a 16 gauge uh, winding opening up on you but um, I want to go through a couple things here he wanted some voltage measurements on the secondary for some of the winding I think there's like three separate windings or four and he wanted some voltage measurements I guess he's trying to substitute a transformer and he wants to know what kind of a secondary voltage he needs so I'll measure those for you but I just want you to check first there, I don't know if you're aware, but these things, these transformers have thermal fuses in them, and uh, you know it's not impossible that that fuse is open. And I'll show you how to check it right now. Let me unplug this from the wall, and I'll zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm zoomed in on the primary side. Let me turn this a bit. This is the primary windings on this side here, and the secondary is on the opposite side. So ohmmeter let me see if I can get this in shot here uh, ohmmeter checking across here and here 1.3 ohms ohmmeter between here and here this is your winding 1.3 ohms and if I did short 0.6 or so, so it's probably half that. But this one here, this pin here, and this pin here is your winding. You check for continuity on that. Now, these two, between these two pins, you're going to find your thermal fuse, and it should be uh, reading zero ohms, pretty close to it, 0.1. So. Got AC coming in here, the the, um, the red and black wire, and it goes to this pin and this pin through the fuse to the winding. So check and see if this winding, if this fuse is open, which I suspect it would be. And um, I don't know if you look down from if you look down from the top, you can see. The wires for the fuse going in and they go they go between the primary winding and the secondary winding. there's a few thermal fuse in there um, you can't really replace the thermal fuse without taking the transformer completely apart and to do that you would need to cut the welds on both sides take the laminations and then you can you're able to separate the secondary from primary it's a big job but you can do it um, another thing is you could bridge this here, if this is open, you can bridge it, but uh, you're also taking the risk of, uh, you know, it's a fire hazard because uh, that thermal fuse is there to protect this, these windings from overheating. So I'm going to take this transformer out, and then we're going to do the voltage measurements you requested, and then uh, we'll wrap it up. I still have to uh, replace the blue LEDs in the volume knob, they burned out on me. So I was, this is a good opportunity for me to open this up, change those LEDs, and I'll take those measurements for you. Okay, so we got the power transformer out. I got it hooked up to a Widowmaker. I'm gonna plug it in, and we're gonna do some voltage tests. So for my input voltage, what's going on here? Okay, so we got 121 on the out input. Now the main winding for the power amplifiers is here, these three.
84.5 and that's center tapped. So you got 41.9. Forty-two, and there's another winding here that's center tapped. This one here is thirty-two point six five, and then the center tap sixteen point three, and then there's two separate windings here by themselves. I think it's this one and this one. This one's six point three volts, and this one is. 33.3 I think they're separate too yeah, I'm going to ohm this out just to make sure that it's all separate pretty sure it is That's the main winding for the power amplifiers. Separate from everything else. Uh, this one here. Maybe they are connected. Getting six ohms. That one's separate. So this one's separate. This one is not. One. Six ohms here. Point eight there. This is a center tap because it is a two two windings coming out and, and they wrap together. Is this one, this one, and this one? It should be separate from these four, but they're not. They're electrically connected. It might be through this uh, circuit board though. But you're typically going to find one like this. It's going to be in a ceramic body. This one here, for example, is. Uh, 130 degrees Celsius, 250 volts, 2 amps. Typically these are the ones that you find in the transformers, they're, they're the white ones. This one's 110 degrees C, 25, 110 degrees C. This one's from a transformer. You can see the windings still left on it. Here's another one. 2 amps, 250 volts, 110 degrees C. So that's typically what you're going to find in a transformer is a, is a thermal fuse 110 degrees Celsius. And that's probably what's stuffed in there. Alright, hope that helps.